here is a Monet. I love the way he does the shimmering water as above, so below concept. And the way that he just makes the water shimmer is just seems so real to me. If you've ever sat at the beach and watched the sun come up in the morning, there's just like a life. It feels alive. He's really good at this. I don't really care for his florally pictures too much. Some of them are kind of a little much for me, but I like this style. This is called the Doge's Palace, right? So this would have been Italy because the Doge was like the city king, right? The ruler of the city. But you can always tell Monet because he's always using these kind of colors, right? The grays, he uses these this greenish gray ish purple color in a lot of his art it's very you can see over here it's very uh, apparent right he he loves these colors this, this is his palette of choice right and the way that he's able to use this palette to create like this feeling of movement is you know it's just spectacular this is real and imagined art in Europe. Oh, and here we go. Washington. This one's famous. The final address, I believe it is. Right. Gilbert Stewart, he did a lot of these paintings of Washington. So he did a whole series of these. It's really not my kind of art. This whole room just bores me. These paintings of pictures. People seem to like it though. It's not for me. I like modern art. I like the Renaissance period, but this stuff is just boring. Here's some more, right? I mean, obviously it's well painted, but it's just not my thing to see rooms full of this. Now this is a little more like it. I like this kind of stuff. You know, the, I, it looks like they don't have the Picasso on display, which really sucks because I, I've noticed lately these museums, they haven't, they, some of the best art there, like we're always renovating these rooms, like here at the Met, and they, it takes like, like forever, like a year or two, the room is closed. So I like wonder, did they, not that they get rid of it, but did they loan it to another museum? You know, as you can see, there's nobody here. And besides the Monet, they had an amazing uh, Dali picture here, Salvador Dali. That one doesn't appear to be on display either. So the gallery with the best modern art is closed, and it's probably going to be closed for a long time. You know, I don't really care for this kind of stuff either, but this is an exception, this one. So this is Albert Bernstadt, but this is just, I don't usually care for this kind of art, but it is just really so detailed. Get the little Indian village down here. And the scene is just incredible, right? The skyline especially looks almost alive, looks real. And it is massive. I mean, this thing's got to be like 15 to 20 feet wide, at least 10 feet tall. There you can see by perspective, it takes up the whole wall in this room. Kind of like a Bayou, Illinois setting. Not Illinois, I mean, uh, what the hell is that? Louisiana feel, Georgia, Savannah area. Joseph Meeker. Oh, I hope you enjoyed. Not my favorite stuff, but. There's more incredible art and antiquities to see in this museum, so I'm just going to keep it moving.